Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 and the first official teaser trailer released for the game. Now, this appeared today just now on Mob Games' official YouTube page. They also tweeted it out, and I instantly saw it was out because I had loads of you guys saying, hey, check this out, do a reaction to it, you know, do a quick analysis of it. And so I thought, hey, I'll jump online and yeah, I'll check it out. I was actually editing another video, which is probably going to come out tomorrow now, which was like a story explain video. But I saw this and I was like, you guys love Poppy Playtime. I'm really into Poppy Playtime as well. I can't wait for chapter three. Chapter 1 and 2, super impressive, you know, Chapter 2 especially. They really seem to be doing a lot of cool stuff with this game series, and so I'm very hyped to see what Chapter 3 is all about. Now what you'll see instantly, guys, on the thumbnail is we have this ominous looking gas mask behind there's all these broken down toys, and this gas all around everywhere, as well as a spotlight on the gas mask. So it's drawing attention to the mask for some reason. We're going to check out the trailer. I'll talk a bit more about, you know, my thoughts on it once we've seen what it's all about. And then, yeah, we'll wrap up the video for today. So, it's only 1 minute 6 seconds, it's a teaser trailer. Let's dive in and see what it's all about. Here we go. There is nothing more gratifying to my soul than being the reason for a child's smile. To be the spark that ignites all their hopes and dreams. So we've got... We owe everything to these children. Is this Elliot Ludwig? This company and its toys are nothing without them. That is why it is with enormous pleasure that as the founder of Playtime Call, I announce... Playcare. Yeah, it sounds like Elliot, doesn't it? Orphanage. He's talking about Playcare. should never be left unloved. Never without a hand to hold when they see a monster in their closet. There's that mask. May Playcare bring joy, inspiration, and smiles to every child who enters these doors. I feel like it doesn't, right? So we've got a lot of cheering and applause. I'm guessing this is when they opened up the Playcare. You can hear screaming now. It's like chi children screaming, I think. It's kind of disturbing. 2023 as well. So there we go, guys. It's not coming till next year, which maybe isn't too surprising because obviously, you know, these chapters take a lot of work and they're very polished when they come out. And chapter two is actually pretty long. That was actually a really interesting teaser. So we actually heard Elliot Ludwig. I believe that's the voice of Elliot Ludwig. And he was basically saying that, you know, his goal is to bring smiles to children around the world and especially to anybody who comes into the studio and is part of the orphanage. He was opening up an orphanage for children inside the toy factory. Now, what's interesting about this is obviously we've seen a lot to do with the orphanage already on both posters and audio recordings in the other chapters. And my theory has always been that this orphanage was used to bring children in who didn't have homes and then do experiments on them, bond them with toys through experiments that we actually partook in during chapter two. And then once they were bonded, kill them and that soul would then be trapped in the toy and it would create a living toy that they could sell to the world, which was basically the next evolution in what this company wanted to do. They were always trying to pioneer new technology and create, you know, more and more impressive toys. Now, I've made theories about this, guys. I'm not going to go into detail now, but that's my general thoughts on, you know, where the story is going. And it seems, judging by this teaser, that's exactly where it's going. In fact, this teaser is actually quite dark. The gas mask seems to be something that would be worn by the researchers and scientists. They would eventually, once the children were bonded with the toys, gas the entire area, bonding them en masse with their toys, and then, yeah, being able to sell these living toys on the market. Although that never happened because there was a breakout. Some of the other toys got out the adult toys and basically killed all the scientists and researchers, in part perhaps because they were doing these things to the children and we know that they wanted to protect them. Again, if you don't understand quite what I'm talking about, just check out some of my theories. I'll leave a few links at the end of this video. But this is very, very dark because it seems like the story of this game is actually going to go in some particularly disturbing places. We also saw a toy of Huggy and a toy of Mommy at the start, so that's representing chapters 1 and 2. You'll notice that the third toy shown is actually Bron, the Brontosaurus, which maybe leads some kind of credence to him appearing as the main antagonist, the main like enemy toy in chapter three, because we had Huggy, Mommy, and then Bron, and Bron hasn't actually shown up properly in the chapter, aside from the sort of broken version of him that we moved around the warehouse. So that is interesting as well, guys. Bron seems to be the next toy teased for chapter three, as the one that's gonna be chasing us about. I'm also going to play you back that translation of what Elliot was saying, his voice lines, so you can actually see them and you have them clearly, guys. So check that out now. There is nothing more gratifying to my soul than being the reason for a child's smile. 
to be the spark that ignites all their hopes and dreams. We owe everything to these children. This company and its toys are nothing without them. That is why it is with enormous pleasure that as the founder of Playtime Co. I announce Playcare, our very own on-site orphanage. A child should never be left unloved, never without a hand to hold when they see a monster in their closet. May Playcare bring joy, inspiration, and smiles to every child who enters these doors. So it's interesting what Elliot Ludwig was saying there, he was basically saying that he wanted to protect the children from the monsters out there, but of course they were the real monsters, these researchers, these scientists, the people at the company who basically started doing all these horrific experiments. I do feel like Elliot wasn't really responsible for that, I think he passed away and then the scientists who took over basically twisted his original vision to create these groundbreaking toys to bring happiness to children. I feel like maybe Elliot started the orphan program with the best of intentions and then once he was out of the picture it was turned into this twisted human experimentation type thing. But we'll have to wait and see to know for sure. All I know is that chapter 3 is now confirmed for next year, not this year, which is fine, we'll have to wait a bit longer for it, but uh, I'm sure it'll be worth the wait. It looks really cool and it's great to have a teaser trailer this early and this far out. I wasn't really expecting anything until around October time, I thought they maybe would tease it for Halloween. So yeah, let me know how excited you guys are for Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 and let me know the theories that you may have for the game and what you want to happen in the game. Personally, what I'd really like to see, we go into Playcare, we get to explore this creepy orphanage, we find out exactly what happens to the child experiments. I think it's really important that they finally clear that up before they go into the later stages of the story so we know the true intentions behind this company. And it seems like that's what's going to happen. It would be cool if we do see Bron as an enemy. I do think he's a character with a lot of potential. Maybe someone who's a constant threat stalking us through the level, you know, here and there and we have to like shut him out of rooms and stuff. Because he's potentially a slower enemy and maybe one that would just show up at pivotal points in the story and we have to keep watching out for him. I'm not sure how they'll incorporate him. I also want to see more of the claw, you know, that weird experiment 1006 that we hear so much about and find out more about the claw and exactly what it is or the prototype as it's known. I have made theories about the prototype once again. I'll link some of those at the end of this video. Basically, I just keep saying that, guys, because I don't want to turn this into another theory that I've already covered. At this point, I've covered a fair few Poppy Playtime theories, so it's important that you go and check those out if you would like to see my thoughts and my takes on this different subject matter. But it's definitely cool to see this today. I don't really know what else I can say about such a vague teaser. I feel like we've picked out the most important key pieces of information from it. So with that, I think I'm going to end the video today, guys. If you've enjoyed this video today, remember to leave a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one, and I will see you all on the next one.